Hey, you're looking good today. This is Frank in the Brazil Times Newsroom, and here's what's happening. In today's edition of the Brazil Times, we've got inserts for you. We've got the Athlon Sports and Life magazine. So if you're into uh, sports and life, you, you might enjoy that. On the front page, it says, Fast and Furious with Arizona Cardinals All-Pro Patrick Peterson, Horsepower Players, Athletes, and Their Cars and also has a recipe for bacon wrapped chicken skewers you might want to keep that handy if you're going to be doing some uh, uh, cooking out over the weekend and on the front page of the brazil times today uh the knights open sectional play with a two to nothing victory over sullivan we've got that uh, story for you inside and diplomas in hand graduates celebrate their individual journeys and we have a story here about Cumberland Academy and uh, their graduation that uh, happened last night. So you might want to check that out as well today. Grass, 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 a growing problem for Brazil. A lot of property owners, and there are a lot of rental properties in the city of Brazil. Those property owners aren't keeping their lawns up. And uh, according to uh, Mayor Brian Windham, it's a, it's a problem for the city. They, uh, the city uh, mows the grass and uh, then they have to uh, bill the property owners. If the property owners don't pay, they put a lien on the property and the property, if sold, will uh, collect the, the lien at that time. But uh, the problem is sometimes uh, those properties aren't sold and uh, when that happens, then the uh, city is stuck with the mowing bill. Now, why is that a problem? Well, the problem is because, first of all, it's unsightly when people don't mow their grass, and yes, that is a problem. And uh, second of all, uh, if uh, the grass is allowed to just grow, it becomes a health hazard as well as a, a, a un unkempt property a site problem as well. Hey, Lori Ann Brown's here. Good to see you this morning, Lori Brown. And let's see. Anyway, you can read more about the uh, the grass problem in Brazil in today's edition of the Brazil Times. Annunciation. The Annunciation Angels had their uh, preschool graduation, and uh, that's going to be the last class to graduate from uh, Annunciation uh, Preschool. So. Uh, that's goodbye. It's going to mark the end of an era for the Annunciation Angels. You can read about that. Kind of a sad story, bittersweet story. And let's see here. Here's something that's happier. Registration for the Brazil Public Library Summer Story Hour begins Tuesday for children ages 3 through 5. Parents or guardians must have a valid library card. The Story Hour is at 10.30 a.m. Wednesday starting June 7th through July 12th. And the Library Summer Reading Club sign-up begins June 1st. Parents or guardians must also have a valid Brazil Public Library card. No card is needed for the weekly programs on Wednesdays at 1.30 p.m. And that begins June 7th. And we have a schedule of those special uh, programs that are in there as well. Karen Burke's here. Hey, Karen, good to see you today. Well, that's all on page one. And, uh, well, we missed something here. The Clay County Senior Center is going to host Ben Dake and Memphis Memories at 7 p.m. Saturday. The center will sell sandwiches and pie as a fundraiser. The entertainment is free, but a donation will be accepted for the band. And speaking of pie... There's going to be a special program at uh, Town Park this afternoon at 2 o'clock. The uh, Assisted Learning Living Center at Town Park, which is on South Murphy Avenue, is going to be giving away pie and poppies to all of our emergency people. Uh, trying to think uh, what Lydia told me. Lydia Elmore was uh, the organizer of it. She was telling me on the phone yesterday they're going to have pie. They're going to be giving away handmade poppies. Uh, and this is for, I'll probably miss somebody, Lydia. Sorry about that, but I'll try here. Police, fire, veterans, uh, EMS people, 
ambulance service people, uh, first responders, everybody who uh, helps keep us safe and uh, who has service in the military are welcome to come by Town Park this afternoon, that's at 2 o'clock, for a free piece of pie and a poppy. So uh, that's something that's going on. We appreciate Lydia Elmore telling us about that yesterday. You want to stop by Town Park, 2 o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, I got at least two hearts for that. That's good. Okay. It's a good thing. Hey, look who's here. Christina just walked in. Good morning, Clay County. There you go. Uh, inside today's edition of the Brazil Times, we have uh, a photo of the 15 graduates from Cumberland Academy and adult basic education classes. We have a picture of Mana Mace. Brazil Rotary Club had a brush with royalty in the form of 500 Festival royalty when 500 Festival Princess Mana Mace visited for its May 17th new luncheon meeting at the uh, Brazil Family Restaurant. Mace is a student at St. Mary of the Woods College and past Rotary International Youth Exchange student to Slovakia and she told about her experiences as a princess and also recap for us her uh, experience in Salt Slovakia. We also have a photo here about a plant swap that took place at McKinley Hill Church of Christ and you can read about that. You have a pond on your property? Not, I don't mean recently when we had all that rain but I mean you have a planned pond on your property Purdue Extension and Aquatic Control is partnering for a pool management session from 6 to 8 p.m. Wednesday. Aquatic Control personnel will speak on a variety of methods to control weeds, algae, and other unwanted pond pests, as well as tips and tricks to keep your pond healthy. I tell you, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to build a pond. Now, doesn't this sound cool, Christina? Build a pond in my backyard. I've got all that wasted space back there I have to mow. Why not just dig down, take chances that I don't hit any city lines? <laughs> put it, yes, put in my own fish pond right back there. Absolutely. Raise some bluegill, some other crappie. What a great idea. But anyway, if you have a pond or you're thinking about building a pond, that pond management session is uh, Wednesday. And that's being hosted by Tom and... Becky Wallace, 4600 Steubenville Road. That's in Freedom, Indiana. Okay. Susan Thomas is here. Hey, Susan Thomas. Good to see you today. Inside, uh, let's see, Clay, Carrie Fox, our sports editor, reports from Clay City. The Shackamack Lakers score two runs in the bottom of the sixth inning to capture a seesaw sectional affair at the Class A Clay City softball sectional Monday evening. The Lakers edged past Clay City 9-7 to in a game that finished just past 10 o'clock p.m. And uh, so with the win, the Lakers will get a shot at redemption against the North Central Farmersburg team that topped Shackamack in the sectional title game 3-2 to last season. And as we mentioned on the front page, Base hits were at a premium in Thursday's sectional baseball opener between Class 3A number 4 Northview and number 8 Sullivan. As expected, the Knights and Golden Arrows went with their ace pitchers. The Knights scratched out just four base hits in the game but made the most of them in coming away with a 2 to nothing victory to advance to Monday's 10 a.m. semifinal. That uh, also by Kerry Fox, the hardest working man in sports. I tell you, he gets all over our big county and uh, into other counties following uh, Northview and Clay City. Okay, let's see. We also have this story from Bloomington. Clay County athletes made the most of their trip to the Bloomington North Regional Tuesday night, while Northview sophomore Eden Siples was the only state meet qualifier out of the group. There were plenty of excellent efforts as well, and you can read all about that. Now i got to check out my kids with the uh, family circus, my little buddies here. Dolly's, Dolly's in this one. Here we go. Dolly, it looks like she's trying to do toe touches, and she says, I can't do it. My skin doesn't want to keep stretching. Oh, Dolly, it only gets worse. 
Don't worry about that. You'll have to keep struggling with that all your life. Your skin stretching enough to uh, get where you uh, where you need to be when you're doing uh, calisthenics. All right, and more color photos and more sports on the back page. So be sure and uh, check it out. I hope you have an outstanding Memorial Day weekend. We plan to, and. Uh, I'll just look forward to seeing you next time we get together. Susan Thomas says, Happy Friday. I'm waving at you, Susan. Hi. Wave back. There you go. <laughs> Somebody told me one time that uh, I waved at them, and they waved back at their phone and then realized, well, you know. But anyway, glad to see all of you today. Have a great one, won't you? Bye-bye.